Hey, how's it going folks? E.T. here with another iMovie tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to do colored titles and text. This is a new feature that was added in the most recent version of iMovie. And what they've added here is customizable titles. You can change the font, the color, the size, the position of any title. And you can also toggle a drop shadow, have a partial or full length of the title in the duration of that clip there. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, from your iPhone or iPad home screen, go ahead and tap the iMovie icon. So you're gonna go ahead and tap plus, and then tap movies. You're gonna scroll and locate the media you'd like to use to create this movie. I'm gonna grab one picture and a couple video clips here. Then you're gonna tap that create movie at the bottom. And now we are in the timeline here. We're just scrolling to the left with our finger. And I'm going to tap on that first picture there. And I'm going to take out the Ken Burns effect there by tapping on that. Then I can resize the image to the way I want. Okay, that looks good. From here, I'm going to tap on the titles at the bottom. And then I'm going to select a title that I kind of like. Okay, you'll notice that there are some new icons above the titles. And that's what we'll be using today. So I'm going to go ahead and tap and add my text to my titles. And one thing you'll notice here is the autocorrect is in the title, which is which was kind of a pain trying to type RX7 because it kept saying REX. So that's another function that was added there. I'm not sure if I'm I'm okay with that or if I like it or not. We'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and type Mazda RX7 here. And when I'm finished, I'm gonna go ahead and tap done. Now from here, you can use your finger and move that title wherever you want. You can resize it with a pinch and zoom, which is really awesome. I'm so glad they've actually added some more functionality to iMovie for iPhone and iPad. Okay, so I'm looking here, I'm resizing to make it so it's not covering the car, but it's big enough that you can see it. And now on the left here, you have grid, then you have spectrum in the middle, and then you have sliders on the right. So whichever way you like selecting your colors, you can go ahead and do that. So we'll pick like a yellowish color here. And then if you tap to the three ellipses of those three dots, you have some more options here. You can add a shadow, which I highly recommend for any text. You can keep it uppercase and you can make it the full duration of the clip. Right here is just the short version. But if I go back in and toggle that to full duration, it'll do its transition, but then it'll stay at the bottom for the duration of the clip. So previously you'd have to make cuts to shorten the clips, but now you can actually control that. Okay, let's go ahead and mess with the second one here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn down that sound. All right. So we're gonna tap on the clip. We're gonna tap on the T to get the titles up. We are going to pick our favorite or the one that we wanna kinda of mess with. Okay, we're gonna to slide to the right. We're gonna figure out which title we wanna put there. And we'll go ahead and try this pop-up one here. Then you're gonna tap on the text. We're gonna edit it by changing the text here. I'm gonna go ahead and add FD, RX7, and FD because the, the chassis code of this car is FD3S, so most people call them FDs. A little inform extra information you probably don't need to know. Once I'm finished, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the options there where you can have it default in the middle or you can have it lower third. But I think it's not so important that you need that functionality since you can drag it wherever you'd like it. But if you wanna go from center to the lower third quickly, you can go ahead and use that functionality. You can also go in and change the font to anything you'd like. If you see the extra blue arrow, that means there's some bold and italics to the right of it. Okay, and I'm pinching and zooming to resize to get it to kind of match exactly where I'd like it to be. I'm gonna add a drop shadow. I'm gonna add a sound effect. So if you turn that on, you get a little sound effect that comes with the, uh, the transition. It's a pretty cool sounding sound. I'll put it in right here. Again, you can toggle between just the initial transition at the beginning, or you can do the full duration of the clip. Okay, I'm gonna go to the third clip here. I'm gonna turn the sound down. 
Then I'm going to cut up the clip here to make smaller segments so I can put different titles on it here. All right, you notice the default to the lower third. You can switch from that. And again, um, since you have the control with your finger to move it wherever you'd like, uh, the functionality is probably, for me personally, I probably won't use it that much. Okay, I'm adding a clip here. Let's try the gravity one. I'm going to change the text here. Let's just put the engine. And you'll notice that it's in all caps. Let's go ahead and mess around. Okay, let's go ahead and edit this here. I'm going to type this in lowercase. That way you can see the functionality here to change it to uppercase or back to lowercase again. So there you go, uppercase, lowercase. Pretty cool functionality here. If you want to type lowercase, then maybe decide I want it all uppercase. That way you don't have to retype it. You can just slide that toggle to the left or to the right. Again, you can change the duration. So if you want that title on throughout the full duration of that little clip, you can. And the best thing about it is you can go in and change the color of the text here. Another cool functionality here is the dropper. If you tap on that dropper icon, you can kind of move it anywhere in your video and grab a little color sample and it'll change your titles and your text to that color. Yeah. So let's go ahead and try this purple on the blow up valve there. See how that looks. And maybe even go to the hose, the blue hose color here and try to match that text. Very, very cool functionality that Apple added for us. Resizing, moving around wherever you need it. This, this title functionality is so much better than the previous iteration. I'm pretty stoked. There's a couple more things that Apple needs to add to iMovie for iOS, but they're on the way, I think. Plus, once the new version of the Mac OS comes out, I'm pretty sure they're gonna have both versions equal since they'll both be running on the same CPUs. Okay, again, lower, default, lower third, default. You tap it, you can edit it, change the text there. Go in and edit the lower, lower third. I'm gonna type that there, lower, lower third. And let's change it to uppercase. Switch it back to the normal. Put a drop shadow or a text shadow, I should say. Make it uppercase. Make it the full length of the clip. Change it back to default. And we can also go in here and mess with the fonts as well, of course. Select your font and if you need a bold or an, an italicized, you can do that as well. You can also pinch to zoom, of course, to increase the size as needed. This functionality is just gonna make life so much easier when editing on your iPhone or on your iPad. Really, really stoked that Apple did this. Okay, I'm pinching, zooming, moving around, trying to get that right size that I want. Let's go ahead and mess around with the color in the spectrum area here. Just dragging my finger around, looking for that right color that matches or that makes it pop out or stand out from the background video there. Okay, you notice there that I did the delete. You can actually delete. Let's go ahead and delete that one as well. So you can add them, you can delete them, all the functionality that's needed in there. Let's go ahead and again, use the spectrum to kind of find that right color for us. And what you're trying to do is make it so the text kind of pops out from the background and is not in the way of the actual subject of the video. Again, functionality here is that full length. Let's go ahead in there and change it to just the short length. So it'll do its transition, so itself show itself for a while and disappear. Gotta love those old RX-7s, yeah, the last gen FDs. Alrighty, that's it for today's tutorial. I wanna thank you for watching, and as usual, peace and aloha, and we'll see you in the next one.